Getting from point A to point B is almost never a straight line. It always helps if someone who's been to point B is there to help a little with the navigation. Lucky for us, our past innovators are right next to us, pointing the way to success. It took me almost 10 years to find the courage to take the first step with my idea. As I grew up, I started to hear things like, you need to raise a lot of money, you need a lot more experience, you absolutely need funding. And I think I struggled a lot with the doubt that now I know a lot of inventors and entrepreneurs face. So I think it's really important to just take that first step. When they told me I shouldn't try to become an engineer and I should be a technician or whatever, I didn't give up, I persevered, persevered. I mean, the thing that makes all the difference in the world literally is perseverance. I had a few moments where I wanted to give up. I'd give myself just an evening. So whether it was going to a movie or eating ice cream or whatever it was, I'd give myself an evening to be sad or be mad or frustrated or whatever. But then I, I'd always pick up right where I left off. Because I saw it firsthand with these kids at the orphanage, I knew it was a good idea. Nobody could tell me it wasn't. I didn't care how long it took to make it happen. If you're creative and innovative, follow your dream and don't be afraid to take risks with it. Don't settle for anybody else's narrow vision of what you should be doing. Just go for it. You have to sacrifice a lot of things, but I just kept pushing and I won't lie to you. You have to be a little bit selfish in a sense to kind of bring this to life. So you have to work hard, but get your sleep though. I learned that. Get your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> when I started Girls Who Code, I was not a coder. I was a failed politician. And I had the audacity to start something. And I learned that bravery is a muscle. That if you keep exercising it, you'll have the courage to do anything. As Joseph Campbell, the great theologian, said, follow your bliss. And, and to me, that always meant it's something that you know, you love that you want to do in your life. If you've got a certain aptitude and gift, that could be your bliss. Develop it, and you won't work a day in your life. <laughs>